Audiobook Academy Biography Presents Kristen Cavallari Laguna Beach and the Hills spin-off star Kristen Cavallari made her name on MTV. A successful author and businesswoman, she is now one of the most sought-after speakers in the world. As a teenager on MTV's Laguna Beach, Kristen Cavallari became a household name before returning to the genre with the Hills. Balancing in Heels and True Roots, her best-selling book, helped her become a best-selling author and build successful shoe and jewelry businesses, while previous efforts to establish herself as a TV host or actor failed. For her new E! reality series, she started in 2018, she began to star in the life of her business and family in the series Barry Cavallari. Laguna Beach In 2004, Cavallari was chosen for the cast of MTV's Laguna Beach, the real Orange County as a junior at Laguna Beach High School in Southern California. Among the show's features were its youthful stars engulfed in social cliques and peer pressure, and the attention on the love triangle between Lauren Conrad, Stephen Coletti, and Kristen Cavallari. In the next year, Cavallari maintained her bad girl persona while taking over narrating responsibilities from Conrad. The Hills While narrator of the Laguna Beach spin-off The Hills, which had previously followed Conrad as she pursued a fashion career in Los Angeles, Cavallari replaced her old competitor once more in 2009. Bitches Back promos were used to introduce Cavallari to a new cast of characters that included Heidi Montauk and Spencer Pratt, as well as an old flame, Brody Jenner, who had revived their romance. After filming for The Hills ended in 2010, Cavallari spilled the beans about the craziness that went down behind the scenes of both reality shows. She claimed that the producers of Laguna Beach would force the teens into situations where trouble was likely to ensue and then edit the scenes to achieve the desired effect. Meanwhile, the producers of The Hills would simply text lines for cast members to read to ensure maximum drama. The Hills, New Beginnings was announced by MTV in August of last year, but Cavallari later indicated that she will not be joining the cast owing to problems with her own reality show, Very Cavallari. Very Cavallari, exclaimed the critics. He had announced in the beginning of 2018 that Cavallari would be returning to reality television on July 15 with the premiere of Very Cavallari. In a departure from her past projects, the show focused on the celebrity as she juggled her growing professional interests with the challenges of maintaining a happy home. I think Very Cavallari is the first time people will get to see the real Kristen, she told people. Whether it's as a wife, best friend, or businesswoman, it's all me. That bitch persona I've been able to channel into being the boss and running my own firm, and then you get to see who I am when I'm with my closest friends and family. At the August 2018 iHeartRadio Much Music Video Awards, Cavallari's wrap dress plunging neckline caused a wardrobe malfunction, and she live tweeted her show's season finale. She was already aware that Very Cavallari had been resurrected for a second season at this point. Season 3 of Very Cavallari will premiere in 2020 just before the end of the show's second 10-episode season. Children with Jay Cutler and a Marriage Cutler and Cavallari started dating in 2010. Coupled in April 2011 and called the engagement three months later before reuniting in December. Camden Jack was born in April 2012, and he acted as a ring bearer during his mother and father's wedding in Nashville, Tennessee, in June 2013. In May 2014, Jackson Wyatt was born to the Cutlers, and in November 2015, Sailor James was added to the family. At the time of her second son's birth, Cavallari was embroiled in controversy when she revealed that she was opposed to immunizing her children. Despite the fact that she never meant to become a public advocate on the subject, she stood by her beliefs, citing evidence that showed a link between childhood vaccinations and autism. It was announced in April 2020 that Cavallari and Cutler were divorcing, citing their nothing but love and respect for one another but their growing distance. Cavallari, like many other celebrities, often interacts with her combined 5 million Instagram and Twitter followers, using the platforms to promote her businesses, give shoutouts to pals, and clap back at detractors. She is no exception. While she hasn't shied away from publishing racy images of herself and her husband, including a well-known photo of her husband naked from behind, she has opted to keep her children out of the public eye. It's not always been a success, as evidenced by the dismissal of an employee who uploaded an insensitive photo of the TV personality on the anniversary of the 9-11 attacks in New York City in September 2019. Balance in Heels and True Roots are two of my favorite books. Her debut book, Balancing in Heels, My Journey to Health, Happiness, and Making It All Work, was released in March 2016. 
In addition to recounting her ascent to prominence on television and the years that followed, the book offered some of her favorite recipes and workout ideas, a package that drove it to a spot on the New York Times bestseller list. In April 2018, Cavallari released her second best-selling book, True Roots, a mindful kitchen with more than 100 recipes free of gluten, dairy, and refined sugar. The cookbook's title implies that it has a variety of nutritious recipes, such as bison and veggie kebabs and zucchini almond butter blondies, among others. Cavallari's shoes, jewelry, and housewares. In 2012, Cavallari collaborated with the Los Angeles-based company Chinese Laundry to introduce a shoe collection, and in 2017, she launched her own jewelry line, Uncommon James. Named after her little daughter, the collection is touted as inspired with a sophisticated and polished look to be worn day to night, as well as being crafted to easily mix and match with jewelry already in your own closet, or layered and stacked to create a unique look. The next year, Uncommon James launched its first physical location in the hometown of its founders, Nashville. On the company's website, Cavallari launched a new product line that includes wine glasses, napkins, tongs and serving boards for the house. The wealth of Kristen Cavallari. The reality star and entrepreneur is reported to be worth $10 million due to her numerous business ventures and continuous presence in television. Additional film and television appearances. As a co-host on the short-lived Get This Party Started, Cavallari tried to rediscover her footing after her tenure on Laguna Beach. Fingerprints, Van Wilder, Freshman Year, Veronica Mars, and CSI, New York are just few of the television shows she has appeared in. Cavallari's career was revitalized by the Hills in 2011, when she competed on season 13 of Dancing with the Stars and was ousted in week 3, she then appeared on RuPaul's Drag Race and America's Next Top Model. More notoriety followed via her appearances as a guest star on the fantasy football-themed sitcom The League, but her next hosting gig with the fabulous Tony was short-lived as well. Early Life A Denver, Colorado native, Kristen Elizabeth Cavallari made her debut on the scene as a model in the summer of 2006. Barrington, Illinois, was her mother's new home after their divorce, where she attended junior high in her first year of high school before moving to California to live with her father. Cavallari has pleasant recollections of her time in the Midwest, even though she is most known for her time in Laguna Beach, which is known for its bright weather. One time, she reminisced about her youth in Barrington, recalling summers spent at the lake and her first true relationship there. Parents and siblings. Dennis Cavallari, a real estate developer, and Judith Ifrig are the parents of Kristen Cavallari. When her older brother, Mike, went missing in late 2015, he was apparently bipolar and had been in trouble with the law. He was found dead of hypothermia in a remote area in eastern Utah in December of that year. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this. See you in next video.